going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to eight percent of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American. You know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of the huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, oh, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New World Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event, and now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming.
And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now we have Bitcoin and crypto down. We have stocks also down as I'm doing this video. CPI numbers come in hotter than expected. And guys, we know it's all corporate greed. Now we have Coinbase spot trading volume falls 52% compared to 2022. And we know all volume has dropped because we see the Fed shrinking liquidities. High rates for longer is bringing down volume in all sectors. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which this morning were down, but then moved right back up after the CPI print. We have the dollar moving back up. So we know, of course, guys, that is not good for the markets. And then we have volume and crypto down. We have Tether and USDC. Now we have USDR stablecoin DPEGs and price crashes by 50%. And we know what these stablecoins is all about liquidity. And then we have the Japanese yen backed digital currency to go live in July of 2024. Remember, the emerging markets flipped the switch in 2024. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now we have the Fed and the repo was at 1.23 trillion yesterday. And guys, we know why the sheep are distracted, the NWO builds. Now we have the Abu Dhabi Bank successfully completes pilot testing with JP Morgan coin system for blockchain based cross border payments. And when we see all these distractions, guys, you know you have to look behind the curtain because the NWO is a steady building. And we know they are definitely the master magicians. Now we have the EU regulator says decentralized finance yet to pose any meaningful risk to stability. And guys, we know they play the Hegelian dialectic. First, DeFi is an issue, it's a risk, and then it's not a risk. But all along behind the curtain, they know DeFi is definitely the new banking. And that's the reason why they're building. We see DeFi being implemented in the current system. Remember what Gary Gensler stated, they're not going to let you control the system, but they'll definitely bring in your technology. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now guys, do not forget about Grayscale sent about $21.6 yesterday. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Stellar conduct security check for up-and-coming smart contract platform Sorbin. And Stellar partnered with security firm Satora to carry out the audits. And guys, we know how important smart contracts are going to be. It's going to change everything that we do. Basically, an automated execution of agreement, guys. So just think about all the industries that are going to be using the technology. And of course, it takes humanity out the picture. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now we have crypto bank Zappo snags European broker license and will offer stocks like Apple. And guys, we know everything is going to be tokenized and put on blockchain. Now we have Hada receives in principle approval to be the fifth Malaysian digital exchange. Now we have FinTech Plaid partners with Say Labs shortly after Layer 1's launch. And guys, we know that is all about adoption and real use cases. And then lastly, guys, we have Sam Bankman Freed wrote that Binance leaked balance sheet to Coindust. And guys, we see the movie just keeps getting better. And then also we have Elliptic finds apparent Russian connection and laundering of FTX stolen funds. And of course, guys, that sounds like a movie because it is. Just like I stated, guys, we have all these distractions going on. We have two wars, the Trump case, the Bankman case, government potential shutdown. We have the strikes. So with all these moving pieces, guys, you have to stay focused. Get in the lab. Remember, you do not want to be caught on the wrong side of history. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, crypto teacher and the new world order book. Plus the three kids books is time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. 
You have your Kobo, your chip stars, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the Seaver, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.